Hey, welcome back, Calibrate Tools family. Do you know what a contour gauge is? Well, if you don't, stick around and we'll talk about them right after this. <music> Now, if you are a DIYer, do-it-yourself person, or even a seasoned tradesman, handyman, or contractor, there's a tool that some of you probably already know about, and that's this right here, a contour gauge. Now, this tool is an absolute game changer. It's made up of many thin strips of plastic, okay, you see that? Or metal, like in this one right here. Now, these strips are held together, packed together very tightly in a fixture that allows these strips to move independently of each other when pushed against a surface. So let's take this pipe here and I push the contour gauge against it. See that? The strips form around that surface or shape, virtually creating an exact replica of that shape or surface. See that there? And you can lock in the shape and transfer that shape to whatever you need to let's just say flooring or tile. And here's the locking mechanism on the side of this Saker model. You lock it in and like that. You can take this and transfer it to a piece of wood, trace it around on the wood, and you can use that wood to form around your pipe or whatever you need to form it around. So for example, if you got a pipe that's against the wall and you need to lay some new flooring down, okay? And you need to bring the flooring up against the wall, but the pipe's in the way. So what you can do is take your contour gauge, and by the way, I'll just zero it out. In other words, I'll take this previous shape out of here that we got off the pipe before, just to start again, to show you how it's done. So what you can do to do that is just unlock it, press it on a surface, a flat surface, bring it back to zero, all right? So what you would do is take your contour gauge, bring it up against the shape, like that, remove it, lock the shape in, like I said here, on this model, it's the locking mechanism right there. Okay, and now you got your shape, right? Then you take your wood, or your flooring, place it on the edge of the wood or the flooring, and make sure that the bottom edge of the contour gauge lines up with the edge of your wood, okay? Because in this model, it's kind of slanted, as you can see, right? You want to make sure this part is lined up. Take a pencil and trace the shape around on your wood. There you got your shape. Then you just cut your shape out. I'm going to use a multi-tool that I have right here.
So guys, I started off with this blade to get the bulk of the wood out of the curve, out of the shape, right? But I finished off with this straight edge right here, and I used the angle right here of the straight edge to trace around the curve. It made it that much easier to cut the rest of the wood out. If you're cutting tile, you can use a tile snipper to cut those contours or angles out, and the same with carpet. You can use a carpet cutting knife to cut the curves or angles out. Either way, a contour gauge, small or large, will make the job a lot easier. So one important thing to take out of this is that once you trace your shape, you gotta know how to cut it out. So please, I hope you paid attention to the cutting techniques I used with the multi-tool. Go check out the video on how to use a multi-tool if you're not familiar with using one. So if you got something out of this video, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.